Uh, wa Kenya wote na washukuru hamjambo. Mniruhusu nitumie lugha ya Kiswahili kwa sababu ya watu ambao ningependa kuwazungumzia usiku wa leo. Kaka mimi sijipigi kifua. Lakini nataka niambie mtazamaji kwamba kabla sijaketi hapa kufanya utafiti, kabla sijaketi hapa kufanya analysis Lazima kwanza nifanye utafiti. Sijui kama mnakumbuka nikizungumzia electric motorbikes and electric cars, especially electric motorbikes. Niliketi hapa nikaelimisha wa Kenya kuhusu hizi motorbikes. Na nilitumia lugha ya Kiswahili ili ni lazimu kaka nitafute namba za simu kutoka zile kampuni ambazo zinatengeneza hizi mapikipiki. Nikawaeleza kwamba the motorbike is not sustainable for a border border rider wanting to do border border business. Lakini kwa sababu wa Kenya wetu ni washenzi walidinda kufuata maneno yangu. Najua kuna wana boda boda muna nitazama. Nili waonya vizuri. Wale muna nifuata muna kumbuka. Niki waonya hapa. Nika sema. Keep off electric motorbikes. Do not waste. Musiaribu pesa zenu kununua electric motorbikes. Nili waonya vizuri wa Kenya wenzangu. Nili wazumuzi ya kama ndugu yenu. Lakini. Hamuku sikia la muadhini wala la mtekamaji msikitini. Na waswahili walisema sikio la kufa halisikii dawa. Hawa boda boda munaona hapa. Laiti mungari sikiliza maagizo yangu. You can see. Ndiyo hawa. You see. These are all electric boda bodas. Ndiyo hizi hapa. Wamerudisha kwa shop in Mombasa. Zot, wamerudisha. Zimerudi. Kwa nini? Wanalalamika kwamba battery does not sustain biashara. Inakula zbini 40%. Inakula... Yani, mimi niliwambia vizuri kama ndugu yenu kwamba if you are tending to do a boda boda business, keep off electric motorbikes. Mukadinda. Lakini unajua wa Kenya ni watu wanataka kujaribu. They want to test. Wengi mukauza mashamba. Wengi mukauza pikipiki zenu za mafuta. Wengi mukauza vitu zenu. Mukaendea pikipiki ya stima ya loans. Yo hizi. Look at them. Zote zimerudisho kwa shop. Mombasa. You can see a hundred of them. Yo hizo. Yani. Wa Kenya sijui ni nini kinatusumbua. I don't know. Ninajaribu kuelewa kwa nini mkiambiwa mnafikiria kwamba yani you know there are people who think that kaka I hate Ruto. I don't hate Ruto. I speak reality. Mimi sijuki serikali ya William Ruto. Mimi simchuki Ruto. Mimi ninazungumza ukweli wa maneno jinsi yalivyo. Aliye na masikio asikie. Aliye na macho aone. Kamwe ni shabiki wangu sugu. You can confess. I sat here. An evening like today. And I told Kenyans. Keep off electric border borders. Why? They will waste your money. They will waste your business. But you couldn't listen to me. You couldn't listen to me at all. Now see. These are the results. You see, those are the results. Who are you to blame now? Do you blame William Ruto for your ignorance? Do you blame the suppliers for your ignorance? Do you blame Kakasungura for your ignorance? Kuleni uje urienu. Eh, na hizo battery muna sema ziyo homu meongeze wa pe. Ni sawa, kime waramba. Watu, 
Boda boda wa Mombasa mnanisikiliza. And I know kuna watu kwa hii timu hapa you are watching me tonight. Kama hamutasikia maneno mnayoambiwa, mutakufa masikini nyinyi. Munaharibu pesa, mukionywa hiki kitu ni mbaya. Munaenda tu blindly. Hati munaokoa mafuta. Wapi? Eh hey, ndio hizo sasa. Okay, ni mafuta tuone. Can we listen to what these guys are saying? Look at this. What a fun. Tukona changa moto mingi sana. Kwa sababu hii battery wanatuletea, hii battery unatoka kutoka Gongoya mpaka town. Inakura 40%. Imagine ikura 40% kutoka kutoka gharama mpaka town. Na ukirudi utakuwa umepata pesa ngapi? Umekuja na customer ya 150 ama 100, utakuwa umepata pesa faida gani? Alafu wanatuongezea battery kutoka 215. Rais alisema battery inakuwa ni 174. Wakaongeza mpaka 1 mpaka 215. Tukanyamaza. Mara hiyo hiyo tena ndio hiyo miezi miwili jesha bado wameenda battery ndio hiyo 300 sasa hii ni nini mkataba ni design sio hiyo namna hii bike haina ngufu ikifika kwenye mlima na hizi kazi ni kazi ya kungangania survival for the fittest wakati bike haina ngufu wale wengine wetu wa petrol ambao wajabadilisha hata wanatunganya uh, customer so hata tunakuwa atu, uh, kuna kazi ambayo tunafanya so na ile kikubwa ambayo inatuumiza ni kuwa kwa nini swapping iweze kubadilika within kwa ndani ya miezi miwili tu Mukidhubutu kupandisha bei kwa shilingi moja ma mbili. Tunasema hivi, hizo pikipiki mwangalie mara mtapeleka. Lakini kwa muda mfupi hivi tumeona, tumeona kwamba kumbe tumezunguliwa. Kwa sababu sasa tunasema hata ile yetu sasa ile kawaida ile ile iko strong kuliko hiyo. Um, if you compare those prices versus any vehicle that is using fuel that's a two wheeler, um, you'll find that we are 50% more affordable than someone uh, riding a two wheeler in Kenya. And if you even compare us with any EV in Kenya, we are still about close to 20% more affordable. It's not that they are too weak, it's because, um, because of the sensitivity of batteries, uh, especially on the compartment. It's not that they are weak, they are, they are performing pretty well, it's just that we've, with the sensitivity of water and battery, me and you know that. <coughs> Tukona changa moto mingi sana. Kwa sababu hii battery wanatuletea, hii battery unatoka kutoka Gongoya mpaka town, inakura 40%. Imagine ikura 40% kutoka kutoka gharama mpaka town na ukirudi utakuwa umepata pesa ngapi? Umekuja na customer ya 150 ama 100, utakuwa umepata pesa faida gani? Alafu wanatuongezea battery kutoka 215. Rais alisema battery inakuwa ni 174. Wakaongeza mpaka 1 mpaka 215, tukanyamaza. Mara hiyo hiyo tena ndio hiyo miezi miwili jesha bado. Wameenda battery ndio hiyo 300. Sasa hii ni nini? Mkataba ni design sio hiyo. Namna hii. Bike haina ngufu ikifika kwenye mlima na hizi kazi ni kazi ya kungangania survival for the fittest wakati bike haina ngufu wale wengine wetu wa petrol ambao wajabadilisha hata wanatunganya uh, customer so hata tunakuwa atu, uh, kuna kazi ambayo tunafanya so na ile kikubwa ambayo inatuumiza ni kuwa kwa nini swapping iweze kubadilika within kwa ndani ya miezi miwili tu mkidhubutu kupandisha bei kwa shilingi moja ma mbili tunasema hivi hizo pikipiki mwangalie mara mtapeleka lakini kwa muda mfupi hivi tumeona tumeona kwamba kumbe tumezunguliwa kwa sababu sasa tunasema hata ile yetu sasa ile kawaida ile ile iko strong kuliko hiyo. Um, if you compare those prices 
versus any vehicle that is using fuel, that's a two-wheeler, um, you'll find that we are 50% more affordable than someone uh, riding a two-wheeler in Kenya. And if you even compare us with any EV in Kenya, we are still about close to 20% more affordable. It's not that they are too weak, it's because, um, because of the sensitivity of batteries, uh, especially on the compartment. It's not that they are weak. They are, they are performing pretty well. It's just that we've, with the sensitivity of water and battery, me and you know that, uh, 